you didn't hear anything about the World Trade Center 7. Not for a long time. And we'd never experienced, prior to that day, a steel frame building collapsing due to fire. It just didn't happen. There was no excuse for rushing to remove debris from Building 7. There was quick decisions made about taking that evidence away. They only saved one piece of steel, and that piece of steel suffered some extreme temperatures. Fire cannot cause that. There are other chemicals that were involved. We did not find any evidence that explosives were used in the collapse of Building 7. They ignored evidence, and it wasn't because they didn't know about it. They seemed to focus on the solution right from the very beginning and ignore all evidence that would have led them in any other direction. There was just this silence in the, uh, in the academic world about this subject. So we began looking around for someone that would be willing to undertake such a study. We ran across Professor Halsey up at the University of Alaska at Fairbanks. He was very scientific about the way he approached this whole problem. He wants to look at things from a very rational perspective blocking it, all the noise out, which is really what is needed in this case. If there is controversy, that means that not everyone's satisfied with the answer. If we can change that, if we can give the public and the engineers an understanding of truly what did happen, it's worth it to me to be able to do that work. <laughs>